this past week I spent um, in Marin County up in Northern California, which was really nice. Took a little break, a little summer break. And I remember when I was young in school, the school year seemed interminable. And I would so look forward to summer, summertime. And for me, basically, um, when I was young, summertime meant fun. It was, it was the polar opposite of school. School was everything I had to do. It was regimented, um, structured, alarms were going off, had to get up early, all these things that really I didn't want to do. Um, and, the, and that were, were that structured feeling. Whereas summertime was about enjoying life and, and the fun of life. And I found that as I've gotten older, as there's um, responsibilities that come at me and also self-imposed responsibilities, that that feeling of fun gets, gets narrowed down instead of a whole day being fun, uh, looking at, looking at, okay, maybe I can do something fun for this half hour, this hour today, or um, the week gets compressed to, okay, five sevenths of the week is what I have to do to live. And then that leaves me Saturday, Sunday. And, um, you know, that, that signals that feeling of fun, hopefully. And so I thought what we could do this morning is as part of our meditation, uh, just personally, each of us, when we get into the deeper meditation, I'll guide us and we can explore that energy of fun. And you, you might call it relaxation, joy, creativity, different words for it. In essence, that time when you can really release that time where you, that you really look forward to and that time that nourishes you and feeds your soul because we spend so much of our energy feeding our body, feeding our mind, taking care of earthly or worldly things. And so today we'll explore that energy in our lives of fun, of joy, of happiness. So that'll be our quest for this morning. And with that, let's begin with the conscious relaxation, using breath to bring calmness and relaxation first to your body and then to the nervous system. So beginning with nice, deep, slow, controlled breathing. Sitting up nice and straight. I find that being able to really hold my spine nice and straight is an important part of my meditation. Take a few deep, slow, controlled inhales and exhales. And now for some conscious relaxation as you breathe in, becoming aware of the muscles in your forehead and around your eyes as you exhale, feeling those muscles releasing, relaxing. Breathing in an awareness of the muscles in your cheeks, your jaw, also your tongue. Letting all of those muscles release and relax. Tongue sinks to the bottom of the mouth.
on your next set of inhales, focus on the feeling of your lungs expanding. Your chest rises, expands, feel those lungs filling. And on the exhale, focus on squeezing out all the stale air, really purge your lungs, creating space for newness and fresh air. Now just let your body fall into whatever breathing pattern it wants. But feel the movement of your belly. Being conscious of your solar plexus, your navel region. Feel its movement as you breathe. Finally, for relaxing the body, bring awareness to the base of your body, the pelvic floor. If you're new to pelvic floor awareness, just try to be aware of that part of your body. If you've done this before, I like to feel a release of the pelvic floor on my inhale, just like my belly's going out, pelvic floor drops down, creates space. And on the exhale, a slight rising of the pelvic floor, just like the belly comes in on the exhale. So you're squeezing everything out. Very gentle, relaxed movement in the pelvic floor. In the last phase of the conscious relaxation, become aware of your eyeballs. And become conscious of keeping your eyeballs still and calm. This will help your concentration for the next phase of the meditation. So awareness of a relaxed stillness in your eyeballs. Now we'll move from conscious relaxation into concentration. Let's first concentrate on our sensations. Gazing into the back of your eyelids, become conscious of shapes, colors, patterns of light.
become conscious of your ears, the sounds around you, the feeling of the space around you. Try just to enjoy the texture, the feeling of the sounds, not needing to label or judge the sounds. Now the feeling of touch, which is connected to your skin. So being aware of your skin, the feeling of clothing on the skin, the seat you've chosen, where it's connecting with your body. Just focus in on the sensations of having a body And now just allow all the sensation to come in as unfiltered as possible. So you just feel sensation, feeling that part of your mind and awareness. Now we'll bring in imagination. For this exercise, you're gonna choose one part of your body, one energy center, and you can shift it up. You can focus on one for the three or four minutes or move different ones. Possibilities are pelvic floor, solar plexus, navel area, heart center, third eye, or crown chakra, top of your head. Imagine that you're surrounded by a beautiful light. Choose a color that's luminous and you feel is a positive energy, positive color. Imagine you're surrounded by this color and now choose the part of your body and link the color, your breath, and that energy center and the energy surrounding you. For example, Imagine being surrounded by a beautiful blue light as you breathe in, that light comes into your solar plexus, fills your body. And as you exhale, you offer beautiful blue light back into the space around you. So use your imagination, creativity. 
linking energy center, light, your body, and the space surrounding you. Once again, just focus in on sensation for a moment. Let go of the active imagination. And now we'll transition to meditation on fun. Again, we'll use our imagination. And what you're going to want to do is pull back and get a bird's eye view of your own life. Maybe see it by the week or the month or however you want to view it daily. You can play with those different parameters daily, weekly, monthly. And just scan through and what are the fun moments? What are the moments you really, really look forward to where you feel you can really release and feel joy and happiness and lightness? If you find those, just feel into them, maybe explore expanding them or solidifying them. If you're not finding them, or if you find that the release or the letting go is not, you're not doing it in a way that you're, that builds up your self-esteem, then start to play with other options. Maybe things that you've pushed creativity or things you've wanted to do that you've pushed away. Maybe creating some space for those things to come back in. So bird's eye view. Where's the fun? Where's the joy? Focus in on that. Or create space and start to use your mission to create that in your day, in your week.
for the last continuing with this technique or go back to the energy center technique or any of the conscious relaxation areas of your body where you want to bring deeper release and relaxation. Now, once again, letting all the imagination dissolve back into just pure sensation, body sensations, sound, sight, smells. Regrounding yourself in sensation. Finally, as you're aware of sensation, inquire into who, what part of you is aware of sensation. There's the experience of sensation. Try to feel the part of you that is experiencing the sensation. And then as we begin to end the meditation, the importance of the transition to your next activity. It's important to assimilate your experience. You might do that by, if you have some inspirations or ideas, you can write them down. You could continue to meditate or just 
flow into activity that allows you to still be thoughtful and reflective of what you've just experienced. Okay, it's been very nice meditating with everyone uh, this morning.